Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I'm bringing you episode, what is this now, 3 I believe, of my Shogun 2 Total War TED tutorial, or the map editor, or whatever you want to call it. So last time we started on this map, and the episode before that we went over all the basics, and now I am basically building a map showing you guys how to apply those and different things you can do. So if you don't know the basics, uh, this episode probably won't help you much. I recommend you go back to episode 1 and episode 2. But anyhow, guys, last time at the end, we took a look at the map. And uh, one basic I am going to say again, moving the camera around, since I keep getting so many comments asking how to do it. Well, you, you know, you can zoom in and out with your scroll button. Hold down the scroll button or your middle mouse button to move around. And if you hold down alt while doing that, you can change your camera angle. Now, of course, oh, and one more thing I have to mention, the last two episodes my mic cut out at certain points and made me do the voiceover commentary, which is harder, so every now and then you might notice one or two edits where it basically, you know, just changes. Um, for some reason, my computer doesn't register me as doing TED since there is no sound in it, uh, so it turns off my headset. And so, you know, every five minutes or so, I'm just going to have to check that. And once again, guys, ignore these glitches. Uh, that is just with the map editor there. But so last time when we looked at the map, we saw that these ripples in the ground here went way down. These are what I'm talking about and didn't look that good. I just took the smooth brush and got rid of those. I uh, showed you guys how to do that earlier so you all... You all, if you've already watched the previous episodes or have some experience, know how to do that. And we saw that the beach went too far out right here. So we are going to fix that first, and then we are going to fix this. The textures do not go out behind or past this point. So we can't have our sandy beach going on. So in order to make it look good and not just dull like that, we're going to have to make it look like a rocky drop-off. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So let's go ahead and go over to paint and our height. Uh, we had, yeah, that's fine. Height negative 0.5. Whoops, my bad. Negative 0.5. Failing here. Negative 0.5. There we go. And let's increase our brush size. Yeah, it's still a bit small. There we go, that's more like it. And let's just take this and go, let's, let's go in some. Let's make this side a bit different. There we go. So like that. Okay, good. And now we will make it look like the rest of it. We will change this to smooth, get rid of this ridge here. There we go, coming down. Make all of this look nice and neat. And that should do that. Okay, there we go. And now to put the textures back on it. Go back to blend. I believe we did have 30 for this, I'm not sure. Forest sand. And yeah, that's about right. So we went like that. Once again, just, you know, painting this on. The textures don't go on past that point. And then the way I got the transition was I actually switched this to mud. And did a layer right outside of the sand. Like so, and then changed it back to grass and uh, got most of the mud cleaned up. But left the edge of it intact like that. Just gives it a nicer transition from sand to grass without that very obnoxious muddy stripe there. There we go, there we have it, okay. 
So now that that problem is fixed and that the beach is in the map there, we have to tackle some of the scenery before we actually deal with the center of our map. Now technically you don't have to do that first, but uh, we will. We've already got our mountains blocking the view that way, so you know you don't have to render all of that. And the way we fix this is by making a cliff, like I said. But the problem is, I lowered the height of the ground from the standard 10. We'll go down to height again. From the standard 10, which is... Uh, let's just do this. Which is like that. To a um, 4. And we will put that back down so you guys can see now that I do this. It is flat there. So, you know, that, that makes the cliff not as um, ready to drop off. And we need to make this look like a smooth transition. So we're going to do this. Do the scale at, I'd say, let's go 50. Don't want it to be too big. And let's just go ahead and test how this looks. We need to actually change this back to 10. Like so. And 50 might be a bit much there, but in the end it'll look better. So we'll just draw a line along the edge. Like so. And you guys are probably saying, well, that actually doesn't look like a cliff uh, because of this little grass bar there. And I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Because that can, that can be a problem, but it is a problem we can easily overcome. And you know, you guys, when you see something like this, See how this doesn't match up correctly? Uh, this is just a transition point from where it renders, like you'll notice if I go along out here, the graphics actually decrease on this side of the map. It turns more into this plasticky kind of stuff than the detailed stuff, because that's out of your normal render distance. Remember, this is a huge, huge area for a map to be so it's not all that big of a deal. And then we will just continue this cliff out to... I mean, after a certain point, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, there. Okay, so now we have this. And uh, how do we make this look decent? Well, right here, it looks just fine. What we're going to want to do is go to blend, make our, put some, a nicer transition on that there from beach. And let's go ahead and smallen this down. Get some, some mud going there. And no more textures can go out beyond that point. So. Uh, now now we have this, how do you make it work? Well, you go down to height again, and you're going to do subtractive. And, uh, or you, if you did a negative number, you would have to do additive, because subtracting a negative number obviously gives you a positive. And so if you had the setting at, like, negative 20, and ignore this grass just going out, that is... Once again, a glitch with the map editor that happens along the edge of the map it doesn't happen in game. But yeah, you know, if you have like negative, negative 10 and do subtractive, it'll give you this height here. But basically what we're going to do, you can't use that brush because it actually messes it up slightly. And just finding a brush that lines up nicely with this here. Let's see. There we go. And you just just do a nice don't click and drag cuz if you click and drag the mouse, it will actually uh and see this glitch actually I find is kind of beneficial. It lets you see how deep things are under the ground maybe. So maybe it's not a glitch, but you know, this gets 
this doing this like I am doing gets rid of the uh, grass ledges and all of that good stuff and just gives you a nicer feel if you were to click and drag though you would have a seriously deep pit instead of this and it would be like monstrously so kind of like making a mountain with additive if you click and drag it too much it might get too large so you don't want that you know just click this along the side and at this point here we gotta go in a bit farther although no one can really see out here unless they have the free camera even then they probably wouldn't be going out and obviously here past this point it doesn't even render it really like right there it is not yeah no there it's just making a smooth edge okay and we're pretty much how far are we from the edge of the map so you do this for this side and once again like like I said back here it stops completely rendering it uh because of you know it's it's just way out past where you're supposed to even be and at this point I don't even really have to worry there that's way farther than they want so now now what you're going to want to do is to change this to smooth and make it a nice smooth transition up to this hillside don't hit the cliff though because that will actually you know make you um get rid of that cliff that you just worked hard to make and you know once again this doesn't have to look perfect out here it is farther than they should be seeing plus it is covered with a fog to uh, cut down on rendering and from here we don't really care so now you've got that and we'll have to do that to the other side too but I will do that on my own you guys you guys can see how it's done there and you know there's no need to make it repetitive and then out here we'll just put some features like forests and stuff to make it a lot easier to see and you know we'll do we'll do that over here to make it look nice so now now we have all of that and we can go ahead and get started with actually making the map although guys if you would like to i do not mind if you try to recreate this map uh you know to kind of learn how to do this just um you know don't go selling it to people as your idea but you know i i really don't care what you do with this and i will put this for download once i am done and you can mess around with it and all of that good stuff okay you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to take normal height 50 uh let's do 100 and let's this, this brush is fine Put the scale a bit bigger. Get our bearings straight. And put an island out here. There we go. That there will look nice. And then we can cover this thing with some, uh, some hills and maybe a building. But that'll just look interesting out there. So let's go ahead and go to create, go down to buildings, and let's see what all we have. So we've got boats, that's nice. There's tons of stuff in here, guys, tons of stuff you can do. And uh, I think I might actually put some castle towers on this island. Match spacing to object, no. Or will it not let me? Maybe you just can't outside of the map. I haven't actually tried putting buildings outside of the map. So I guess maybe maybe it doesn't let you. Yeah, no, it's it's not gonna let us do that. 
Well, guys, I learned something there, and you guys did too. You can't place buildings outside of the map. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and create some uh, trees on this island then. Make it look interesting. So we're going to go from mode to brush. So we can brush on the trees. Uh, scale 30. This is my scale usually that I use for painting stuff. And we'll go ahead and select some trees. Let's do... Uh, hmm. Got to click load. Doing this oak here. And maybe I just made this island too far out to actually do anything with. So we'll just leave it be out there as an island. Yeah, you guys, I know for a fact that you can put stuff out of the map though. Like I can put trees over here on this mountain it's just beyond a certain point you can't and i don't know exactly where that point is that's just kind of trial and error load this mix up the trees some make it look like a diverse forest because we are going to want to you know make some outer scenery there and that looks nice okay so we've got that. I do want to go ahead and do one thing though. So we're going to go down here to uh, cinematics. Let's see. Is it under cinematics? Not sure. It might be up here. There it is. Boat. Got boat. And... Let's see which ones we've got. This is just a little fishing shack. Might make a little lake in the center. I'm looking for the warship boats though. And you know, you, you guys can look around yourself and find this this stuff, but European wood chair, crate, castle wall. Yeah guys, there's tons of stuff in here. Tons and tons of stuff. Sword Dojo tools. <laughs> Tower wood. Building pile. Gardens. That's nice. What is this? Just a stone? Huh. <laughs> you can make your own little gardens. I generally don't put that much detail at the current moment but you know there's just tons of stuff you can do uh, that's cool looking little dock yeah I don't I don't remember exactly where the boat is I've done it before on a different map that you guys will be seeing later Ooh, we could put some coastal batteries that's we could I don't know if that would look good or not though let's place one here just for tests click select click it and um let's see we need to move wrong way don't want that Back to normal. We want this one, I believe. Yeah, there we go. This is your orientation that rotates it here. So, you you know, you might think objects uh, are pretty worthless because you can't actually place them the way you want them. But through this, you can. We're going to put it back some like that. There we go, that looks nice. So we'll have some coastal batteries on this map, and obviously we'll want to put another one over there. I will get to that later. Let's go back to create now. And put some more. And of course, you know, there's just 
absolutely tons of stuff we can do. Um, I'm not going to go super in depth with this map, mainly because I don't want this series to go on forever, because at this point I've covered all the super important stuff. You guys are just seeing how I would go about, um, what you call it, making a map here. And Castle Tower... Let's see, what am I looking for? I just did coastal batteries. That's just down here. And yeah, that's not what we want. Oh, well, we'll mess with that later. Um, there you can actually put the cannons on this coastal battery, but I will get that in a little bit. We should probably work on the thing, because I'll have to find where that is in here after that, just to remember where, so I'm not spending this whole time looking for it in here, because, you know, I know what I want to do. I just don't know exactly what it is. And once again, guys, you can build your own castles, you just have to build it from scratch like that your own walls and stuff you can look at all the different sides and then you have to fill in the ground in the center okay so let's go back to paint here and start adding some height here so what i want to do i kind of want to have it as it probably would at a shore get slightly higher as we get closer to these mountains and uh, the way i'm going to do that first is going to move up to my gradient round brush. Don't want our height to be 100. Let's see, so we're at 4. We'll probably move to 10. 20. Let's go ahead and do 10. And there you guys can see that I have moved this area to 10 and we're going to do that all the way up to the edge of this mountain and then once again we'll deal with the height variation outside of the map later so you know we will smooth this down so now we've got that at 10 then we'll move it to 15 make our circle there so you can see we are slowly adding on height and then we will smooth it out so that it looks better later 20 and let's go ahead and put our scale down to 200 slightly smaller here and bring it back like that have this increase. Okay. 25. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. You can see I am making the ground rise up from down here. Just ever slightly higher and higher. And we will make, um, we'll smooth all these lines out, obviously, and make it look nice. So let's go ahead and, not to three, not to three, that's not what we want. 30. Like so. And... Let's jump to 40, make this down to 100. And do that. And that'll be nice. And, uh, wow, I have made this a bit lopsided, haven't I? So let's just bring this out like that. So that both sides, you know, have a fair shot of getting here. 
in time. Then we'll go. Well, actually, instead of that, let's let's put on some some hills here. We we'll want to make this higher once again. Make our scale bigger. Put on some nice hills. Uh, set it up like that. Do a small mountain. Just put a lot of terrain features up here. And we'll just change the brushes. And that will actually end up being nice up there, especially if we add some forest, smooth some of it out. Put it a bit taller in the center. And you know, we will do this for for the whole thing. It just starts starting from the top, working our way down, and then we will smooth all of this out. And, uh, move that up. And that should be nice there. And do that like so. Okay. And you know, when you merge these mountains together, they end up looking quite different. And then what we would do from here is bring down our scale, put it to smooth, get your round brush out, probably put down our scale some more. Don't want it to be too big. And you can smooth all of this stuff down. This hill might be slightly too small to do it to, or not, no, you know, you just keep clicking it here. It might take you a second, but you can get it down to something that looks a lot better and uh, will be more interesting to play on. So we can get rid of that. You can also bring up the height of the land around it. And by putting these hills up here, just bringing them down. This kind of stuff takes time. And I'll show you a little bit of doing this. But uh, besides that, you guys will have to do it. Because, you know, once I've shown it to you once, I'll do the rest of this on my own. This, this part, at least, to make it not as tedious for you guys. You know, you can leave a few rock formations if you want them. Ones like this tend to look a bit absurd, though. So, you know, you want to bring them down to scale. You can see that now is a nice, smooth transition. And then we'll leave that slight cliff there. And by doing this around the edges, it gives the thing an overall nicer feel and makes more of the area playable and so you guys can see you know I'm just going to uh, end up doing this for the rest of the map just clicking over and over because if you drag it and smooth like this it doesn't work as well and by bringing this all down, it still retains some of that feature of the terrain, but uh, not quite, it's not quite as harsh as it was. You know, get rid of these kind of things, make it a nice smooth transition. And you can leave some of the roughness out here. I don't even have to do it because this area won't even be in the map. But it's all on how you guys want your map to be. Like I said, this is just an experimental map. Uh, I'll probably make it, you know, hopefully rather nice looking for you guys. So that, you know, we can jump onto this. And then this kind of stuff, you would smooth out 
all of these edges so that it is a nice smooth transition between the levels of height so you can see the line there and that that just kind of clears it all up you can see it blends a lot better there than it does over here where I haven't yet done this and you know my height difference wasn't all that big anyway down here so that'll look all nice in the end and you know next time this map's obviously nowhere near done uh, we will add some more height differences and such and get some terrain features some forest some lakes maybe all of that good stuff smooth out the edges along the mountains and uh, you know i'll just work on some of this stuff between this episode and the next one finishing up uh up here because you guys know the basics and it takes a long time to build these maps as you guys who ha have probably done it by now uh you know have probably learned unless you're building a simple map if you build an in-depth map it takes quite a while if you watched my video of making somnolence that map uh you know at first it didn't look like much by the end it looked incredible and you know tons of people like it currently so you know it just takes some time you gotta have time you gotta put time into these maps and you know i don't ever spend one period completely doing the entire map because that takes a while but you can see now up here we still have some of these terrain features that i made but they are not as absolutely um you know rough as they were and I kind of blended the hills together to look like just a rolling kind of hill land and this is this is an interesting place to fight cuz both teams have some height uh this central knoll is right about in the center of them and you know it'll it'll be interesting it makes it in regular shogun you know that's not as big of a deal follow the samurai so probably be an area that wants to be contested and of course to balance that out because of it you know say you don't want people completely just going up to this high ground we'll put some interesting features over here maybe the more important dojos will go down here so it's a gamble height versus dojos uh, you know if you have the archery and dojo and the shrine does it really help you that much to you know have the hill over that so you know it's all players preference preference sorry and opinion and now we have these hills all nice and smoothed out and you can just kind of see as i do this the the rocky sections fading away i am going to um add some more layers of height here though so it is not as quick of a transition because remember i had to fix this to make sure the map was balanced but you know now we have this these transitions won't look as rough either once we are done we will make everything a happy transition land uh, we'll add features out here hills and such forests and we've got our cliff along the edge so i will take you guys in game one second real quickly to show you what you have it's always good to check after you save and then that'll be it for this episode Okay guys, so here once again is the overview of the map. You can see the height change. Uh, Shogun doesn't actually record those smaller changes. As you can see, it only makes the more drastic ones noticeable over here. This cliff, like I said, this is immediately after recording the end of that. I haven't actually done any more work on the map. Uh, I haven't added the other battery and stuff. That will all be in place by next episode, but you can kind of get a look here at where this is going. So over here... Obviously, this will all be nice and smoothed out going down, but these these aren't small hills over here. No, they're not. And we will smooth out the edge so it flows better into the mountain. You guys saw how you can do that. I will get that done, and I'm also going to fix the side of this mountain just by brushing over it one more time to make it less uh, cliff-like and more like, like this over here Damn where it looks more natural. Jones. Look out, General! So you can see all that. You can see how this just kind of transitions down some. And, you know, we'll have hills down here. But uh, you can see these these hills up here are no small matter. And, you know, by, by doing this, 
and really presents some interesting opportunities and all that kind of stuff. Definitely going to have a forest up here. Might even put a uh, some water right there. It'll be interesting to see. But, you know, this looks like a cool place to be, but it also might be something you might want to stay away from because this is not a fun place to have uh, your Fall of the Samurai army fighting either. So, you know, you I try to make maps that have tempting areas, but if you take them, it's not absolutely going to destroy the other team because uh, this is hard to set up a really nice defensive on because there's hills in the way and such. There's different ways you can approach and over here you can see it now looks better how the uh, how the beach ends and you know we'll have our cannons and stuff there that's all outside of the map haven't smoothed this out you can just kind of see some of the trees on the mountain there so like like I said we haven't done any more at the current moment and you know that island out there doesn't look all too bad uh, it's you know just kind of something in the view probably put some boats in the water why not there's a small sand beach here. Didn't do that on purpose, but it doesn't look that bad either. And, you know, we'll we'll leave all be. So, you know, we'll finish this soon. You guys can see how absolutely okay, so massive attack. of a map this is, though. Uh, at the current moment, with the messed up deployments, you can't really make anything any smaller. Which is kind of disappointing. So this here really is an absolutely huge area. And, uh, you know, but the thing is, think of this as a creative phase. You know, you have all of this stuff that you can do. You have this big area, and you can't make it any smaller. I would have loved to made, make this a smaller map. Um, but you can see that cliff line. You know, it, it looks fine. Just rendering into the distance, we'll have stuff there. You can see the fog hanging over. Mountains look fine going off. Ocean looks fine going out. Yeah, but you know, since we can't make the deployments any smaller and stuff due to the glitch right now, um, just think of this as a creative opportunity to go crazy on these massive maps because they're a lot bigger than you think they are. A lot bigger than it looks in the editor, as you guys can see. I mean, this is a... This is huge. Really, what we could have done is uh, cut some of this just away with mountains really kind of brought them into the map and you know that's why right now i have such so many mountains on some of the regular shogun 2 maps they they're far back like that um but i have them close just to make it not as as massive but otherwise guys that's going to be that for this episode hope you guys enjoyed or, yeah, enjoyed, enjoyed, maybe learned a thing or two, although all the basics have really been covered. This is just finishing the map now, and, you know, I'll do this to the other side of the map, and uh, we'll make everything look nice and pretty, and then I'll probably, gla probably grab someone. Man, I've been talking for a while, messing up now, and uh, have a battle or two on this map and show you guys some of that. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.